right, guys, we are back. I hate when that happens with my screen, but I had it on Do Not Disturb. I had it on Do Not Ring, and it still did it. It was an 800 number. I'm telling you, there is a conspiracy out there, and they can break through the software. I don't know how they do it, but they're doing it. So thank you for coming back. Ruth is back. Thank you, as is Jack. And we do get a match for this beautiful earring. I get a lot of these exotic earrings, guys, and I don't think I've ever listed them. I've listed the bracelets. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know where that, I will hope I get a match to that one. I've listed the bracelets. They haven't sold yet, actually, but uh, I need to, to list the earrings because they're so beautiful. Look at all of that beadwork on that. Forget what they call these. I want to say chakra, but that's wrong. It's something else. They can hack and yes, I know they do, even when it's on Do Not Disturb, and they keep ruining my videos <laughs> every time they call. I don't know what to do. I literally have it on Do Not Disturb, and I decline it, and it does that. I wonder what would happen if I accepted it. <laughs> Let me accept it next time. A cute feather, actually, it's not, it's not ugly, <laughs> and there's a match. They're kind of cute, but they have little peace signs. They're definitely little kids. <laughs> That's going to go in a craft a lot because they're kind of cool. Hey, Swamp, how are you? Hey, Marge. Oh, these are, wow, these are Hannah Montana? Who are these people? It looks like Hannah Montana, but I can't tell. No, it's somebody else. I can't even read it. It's some other little pop culture queen or something. So we'll put that over there. And we had these earrings, which have a horse on them. Or is it a lion? No, it's a pony with a clip on it. They're very interesting. Really, really interesting ones. Hmm. All right, then we have a lot of these homemade earrings. I can tell by the the wiring they used or the way they didn't finish them off there. And they all kind of match. So these are probably going to a crafter lot. There's three of them there. We did get a match on that earring that I still can't read. This one here. All right, we did get a nice stretch and this is a pretty stretch too. These are glass. These are nicely made. It's a very, very pretty color. Almost looks like a fire opal. That's really pretty. And um, this is kind of a AB pink. They never leave you alone after that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thanks for coming back, Kathleen. Yeah, that's so strange, though, but it's just such a shame that they can get in like that, and they just remind me of insurance that I never had with them, and it's ridiculous calls. I don't know why it's technology really can be a nuisance sometimes, huh? That's a pretty heart. I've seen a lot of the big ones, but I like this splash of color in there. It's kind of a swirl design, and it's small, and it's puffy. I've never really seen a puffy one. This is a nice bead too. This actually looks like fake turquoise of some kind. Boy, that wire looked like it broke, but it didn't. So that's gonna be in a crafter lot. Yeah, that's true. My, my phone really is easy to read when I'm hunting for jewelry. Here's a match to that. At the thrift store, I use it for a loop. It works better than a loop. But for some reason, when I'm in the camera, I mean, when I'm using it as to film, the lights blind me. So that's why I can't read it. Here's some more. These actually match. But I'll probably put them in a crafter lot anyway. And here's a big red hoop. It's kind of cute. Put that in the silver. Here's a nice earring. Drop style. These are plastic, so they're very lightweight. They're pretty, though. I like those. I really do like those. Those are cute. And then here is a bracelet. 
It says liberty, freedom, love. Oh, it's got the Statue of Liberty. It's got her face there. That's cute. I wonder why they didn't make it in red, white, and blue, though. They made it in pink. It's cute. I like that. I'll probably put that in a jewelry lot. It's got a nice toggle, too. Oh, look at this, guys. All shell and pretty colors. This one's actually cute. They have a little half shell. They're all abalone shell. <laughs> it's really kind of cute. It looks kind of 40s to me. Hi, Pearl. I'm glad you're back. Manuela, I'm glad you're back. Oh, here's a nice one. Glass beads. We may be coming up on some tangles now. And, whoa. Yeah, the phone calls, the emails, the text. Oh, around politics time. It's horrific. That's going to go in a crafter lot because they get your contacts and it makes, they use like the first name of your niece or something. And then they make it sound like, you know, they know you. Oh my gosh. And they'll, I got one that said, so-and-so is doing um, some campaigning for this candidate. Would you be willing to help him out? And I'm telling you, they use the, it's not even a, a common name, right? And then it makes it sound like, they're related to you, and I'm like, what? <laughs> this is a cute one, too. That's a pretty statement piece. Very nice. That would look really pretty. And then we had a big drop earring. These are plastic, too. So that's interesting. Here's some necklace I was trying to fish out of here with some really pretty beads with lamp work on it. I like it. But it's got a tangle with some pearls. See that the hooks get inside the hooks. That's what happens. Because this does not belong together. This pearl is really pretty in its own right, actually. But it's just tangled up with that other one. See, they got little spacers and wires. And this one is Sarah Coventry. I believe that's the Sarah. Yeah, that's a Coventry. So that's a very nice one. I like that. But I like this one too with these pretty little beads. And it's tangled up in there. It's crazy. It's why I totally took out my home phone. Because I got more prank calls on there than my cell phone all the time. We never answered it. We literally never answered the phone because we already, and we had caller ID, so we knew that it was unknown or whatnot. Okay, this is Premier Designs, the one with the colored beads and the lamp work beads that's tangled with the pearl in here, <laughs> but I'm going to show it to you separate. It's really pretty, really pretty beads. They look like candies and really pretty colors. That's Premier Designs. That one looks like a candy, too. That one's really, really cute. I would wear that for sure. I like it. I think that's fun. So we're going to untangle that Sarah from there. And it looks like it actually needs to be hooked back somewhere. It's got a little damage there, but we'll fix that up. No problem. I'm sure. I'm put that over there. I like this, too. This is black wood. That's a nice bracelet. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. I hope you came over from the other video, but if you didn't, go back and watch that one too because that was the first part. Here's a silver and pink pearl one. That's cute. Here is, let me see what this is. More glass beads in here. This one's cute. And this is a shorter one, so that's a nice layering piece there. Look at that pretty teal. And probably, what, 18 inches or so? That one's really cute. I like that one. 
Very nice beads. These are glass. And the ones that look like metal, they're, they are metal. They're just not a very heavy metal. Hi, Leslie. I'm glad you made it back. Let's see who else came back. It looks like 43 people are watching. Guys, please take the time to go hit the thumbs up. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Oh, this is pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, we've got matching earrings to that necklace. Look. Nice. Very nice. And this one has kind of a textured, and then some have rhinestones. So like that one has the rhinestones. The spacers have the rhinestones. These don't. Very nice piece. I like that a lot. Here is a medallion, or rather a pendant. There's the bail there. Kind of a pewter color. It's just a plastic bead in the middle there. That's a nice crafter piece, too. Very nice. Oh, my goodness. Here's a big one. This is, ooh, this really looks like a spider web. I wonder if it's jewelry. Or bottle jewelry. <laughs> These always confuse me, guys. Someone, I had something, oh, there's an earring, or maybe not. Look, it's like a little bottle cover or something. Someone told me it was bottle jewelry one time, and then someone told me it was for your hair because it's like in a circular design, like a round design. See? I don't know what it is. So there it is, but these are pretty beads. They're glass. They're pink. Some are AB style. And I really don't know what to make of it. Look at that. See? Oh, it's like a star design, isn't it? Can you guys see that? Let me... A snood. There you go. That's what somebody had said. The snoot is the one that holds your hair, right? And then someone said, no, it's not a snoot. It's to put over a bottle of wine. It's wine jewelry. That is really cool, though. I like that. All right. We have a mixed metal clip earring. And we have a nice pendant, kind of brass color with kind of a amber looking, faux amber. It's nice. It's got a little verdigris though. It's probably copper, right? Or does brass get verdigris too? It's kind of cute. I really like the, um, the necklace. The necklace, the cording is real leather. So that's nice. I'll just have to clean that up because that's kind of pretty. It really is. And they did put it on a real leather cord, but look, vertigree's traveled all the way to the cord. So that needs to be cleaned. Oh, and a lampshade? That would be cute too. Yeah, that snood thing, for sure. Oh, look at that. We got some natural stones, I think, here. And we do have the other earring to the heart. Or do we have... I don't think we had one. We had another thing that was matching, that had matching earrings. But this one is the puffy heart. Cute. Whoa. Okay. I don't know if these are natural stones. They feel like they are, and they've really got some interesting color on them. Don't they? This looks like a little bit of a mossy thing. Yeah, I think they are, because look, they have different sizes, too. They're not uniform at all. I have no idea what this green stone is. Could it be moss agate? Look, I can feel it here. This one has a rough side here. Then they've got the tumbled side over here. So you can really see the rough side there. Feel it too. This is cute. And then these look like, um, 
either kind of a Tahitian pearl color or a hematite color. Nice hook on there too. Yeah, that's what I think it is too, a snoot. That's a beautiful necklace, isn't it? Do you guys like that? I think this one's cute. Yeah, they are natural. They're so different. They almost look like little fossils, like, and look, this one even has like a little water element inside. You can almost see like an opal effect in there. Can y'all see that? Those are really, really interesting beads. They really are nice. Well, that's a good find, guys. It's an expensive bag, so so far not bad at all. I like that necklace. We got two working watches, including a Seiko. We got a cool ring. That's a cool ring. It's got a little mark on it. It looks like gold tone. But let's see if we can read what it says on the inside. It's really small, isn't it? Can't read that, but let me look and see with my... Oh my gosh, no. It's all smudged. I mean, it's like mushed together. What, what a cool ring. This looks Renaissance, too. Let me take off my big orchid or whatever that is that I was wearing. Oh, it fits me on my ring finger almost. That is really cool. I like it. I don't know what that stone is. And I, that almost, yeah, it's brass. I was going to say it looked like uh, bronze, but I don't know. It's got a little wear down there, but it's so cool. That's an interesting ring. I don't know if it had a stone in the middle or because it has like a design. Yeah. And that's not plastic, guys. That red one in there, that is not plastic. I don't know what it is, but it's not plastic. It's a nice one. Very nice. Looks like 55 people are here. Thanks, guys, so much for joining me tonight. This was probably on a necklace. It's missing the the little bale, but it um, can be easily be, be fixed or it can be put in a craft lot. That'd be a nice piece for a craft lot. Kind of cute. All right. We did get the other knocker. The other door knocker earring. This one... I don't know if it's missing. Did the other one have all yellow or was it mixed up like this? Well, there is one missing there, but that's really a cool piece anyway. And look, he used to have rhinestone eyes. I think the other one was missing both eyes. Such a cute earring now. It really is cute. You may have to put that in a crafter lot too. Maybe somebody can take those rhinestones and replace all of them they are matching yeah look some people I mean some stones were yellow on the knocker and then I think they started to replace them or are they all missing oh these are all missing they look like they were yellow yep they could even take all those out they're really cool though so I'll put that in a crafter lot and then we've got these tangled things this is a pretty stretch, too. Pretty blue beads on that. I like that a lot. Very nice beads on that one. Oh, I thought this was two necklaces here. It is one. And guys, these do iron out. If they come wrinkled, just hang them for a while. They iron out. That's pretty. Green. Green and silver, that's really pretty. Pull this up just a tad. Yeah, that's really cute. I like that. Okay, we have a big necklace with some green. Two shades of green, almost a sea foam there. That's pretty. I don't know if I like it that long, but it's a pretty necklace. Kind of a copper colored chain on there too. So that's cute. And then this popped out. 
And these are heavy. They also look like natural stones of some kind. Interesting one. Hey, Roberta, how are you? That's a nice, there's some nice stretchy ones in here. Oh, we did get a match on this one. This was a cool one. Where is it? I think these are pretty. I like the colors on these a lot. And they're lightweight because they're plastic. <laughs> but they're pretty. I like them. Okay, let me see what else is in here. Oh, this is another lamp work piece. These are pretty. I like that deep cobalt blue and the opaqueness of them. So that's a nice one. A little outstretched. You can see some space there, but it's nice. It would be prettier on a shorter necklace, I agree. That's a very pretty pendant. Oh, we did get a match on the little earrings with the horse. Little hug style. And this is a really cool coil too. I really like this one. I think this is fun. I like the way they did all of those different style of beads. They did it with the other one too that we showed earlier, the brown, the earth tones. And now with this fun one, and these are glass. The orange are glass. These big orange ones are glass. The blue ones are glass. This is a cool bracelet. I like it. I think it's really cute for summer. Anytime, really, but especially it just makes you think of, you know, fun in the sun. <laughs> I love it. I love the colors. I think they did a really good job with the color combination. All of the hues pretty much the same. Very nice. That's a cool one. Okay, we did get a match on this one. The one that matched the necklace. Sorry about that. So we'll put those together along with the necklace. That's good. Got a package of uh, purple ivy earrings, jewelry by Purple Ivy. So there's some flowers, some butterflies. And just some discs. There's like, well, there's some hearts on top of the discs. So it's like three pairs of earrings. It looks like the decor of margaritas. I love it. I'm going to wear this bracelet, guys. I really do. I don't know if I'd wear it with the lime green necklace. Probably not. But I think by itself, it's like a perfect touch of color. <gasps> Ooh, this necklace is, I mean, this bracelet is cute. Look at this one. It's all woven together, guys, and it's got glitter on top of the gold. So that's cool. Let me slip that one on. <laughs> that's some shiny stuff right there. That is cute. That is really cute, and it's a nice fit. It's not falling off. I really like that one, too. That's going to have to go on a jewelry one. That's super cute. That's fun to play with, too. Just touching that was fun. Ooh, here's a really cute earring, guys. Some AB stones in a heart shape. This is pretty. Gold tone, so I hope we find the other one. Put it there for now. More kid jewelry. Put that aside. And what is this, paparazzi? No, this is diva. Feels like paparazzi, though. Aw, it's cute. It's actually cute. It's a cameo on a padlock there. And the rhinestones are still there. Or is there one missing? I think there's one. I think there's one missing. It's too cute, though. I like that. That's a cute piece for a crafter lot, too. Someone could have some fun with that one, for sure. Okay. We have some more cute earrings here that are brown. I'm really liking my bracelet, guys. I've got the outfit all planned out. It's white. It's white, and I think I'm going to put a coral necklace. Look how cute that is. 
Yeah, I've got the outfit planned out for this gorgeous little bracelet. This is pretty. It has really pretty AB stones, topaz colored stones, smoky quartz, whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh, I really like this one. That's really well made. That's a pretty earring. Put that over here in the multicolored for now. Oh, we got another biggie coming out. Let me see. We got 60 people watching, guys. Can y'all go over and hit the thumbs up? I promise it won't hurt, and we'll save your spot right here in the chat. Just leave the chat for a couple of seconds. Go over by the screen and hit that thumbs up. Look at that. The ice princess right there. That is nice. It really looks like ice, too, with the spikes. And then some kind of gunmetal colored rhinestones. Silver chains. It's got it all. This is going to brighten up, too, with a little bath. It's going to brighten up even more because it's pretty wow already, isn't it, Roberta? <laughs> it is. Look at that. That's insane. Insanely glam. Oh, we got the match to the pretty one here. Awesome. These are really cute. I like these a lot. Those are pretty. Okay, nice statement necklace. There's a lot of pretty necklaces in here, guys. I more than can triple my money already, I can see, with this bag for sure. This is a pretty stretch one, too. I love this design. And I like the color, too. It's got a nice brass color to it. Cute, cute, cute. Oops. I moved you a little bit too much there. Another statement. This one's an understatement, so to speak, because it's kind of conservative looking, but cute. Anyway, black and silver. I like this ring. I really, really do. I want to clean that up. I don't know what kind of stone is on there, but that's nice. I like rings like that. Different ones. They're so cool. All right, what is this? A little bangle, cute one with pink rhinestones, silver tone. I don't think there's any missing. That is so pretty. Yeah, that's nice, and it is a clamper. So you'd be able to slip that on. I guess I should take the other one off, huh? So y'all can see the other ones. Okay, let me, ooh, what did we get here? Let me slip this one off even though I'm gonna keep it. I really am. I like it. Back over there. Set that aside. Yeah, that's a really pretty bangle. I like it. Let's look at this. This is interesting. It's got like a horn. It's tangled up. So let me get it out of here. Hey, Karen. Let's see who else popped in here. Sorry if I didn't say hello when you popped in. I was looking at the jewelry. Sandra Mason, Teresa Richardson is here. Thanks for being here, guys. Oh my goodness, this is tangled, but so interesting. And they both kind of look like they go together. Let me get this untangled real quick. Okay. See, and then they threw this one in the mix too. This one's pretty too. Okay, I think this one's part of this one. All right. Could all of it be part of it? Yes, probably. Yeah, I think it all goes together, guys. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but it needs to be clean desperately. 
I can feel it in my hands. But they're all plastic. Even the horns. They're all plastic charms. That's cool, though. I'm going to throw that in the crafter lot. I think that would be fun to make stuff with. For sure. Crafter lot. Okay. Then we got one of these. Braided. Beaded. Turquoise white gold colors. And, oh, this is cute. This is a heart pendant with some pink and red stones on it. And it has red cheap velvet, but it's a nice pendant. It would look really pretty off of this cord. So look at that. Here's a little cable with rhinestones, pink rhinestones, red rhinestone. I don't think there's any missing down here. I think that's the way it's supposed to be at the bottom there. And the color is still nice, not too bad at all. Got red stones on each tip. So that's a cute little cable. It's actually nice, heavy metal. Doesn't, doesn't feel very lightweight or anything. So that's a nice piece to add to a crafter lot or to a jewelry lot. Okay, this is dirty, but they feel heavy. They may be a venturine or something, you think? Look, the ceiling has a little dent in it. Stretch. It's pretty. Not quite the color of jade. What in the world? Is this a dream catcher thing? Look at that. That's a piece of leather on top of something else, I think. No, they're both leather. One is the suede part and the other one is the other. Regular leather. That's interesting. So funny what people design, isn't it, for jewelry? I mean, it's just so, it's such an amazing art, I think. It's a little worn out. This will probably go in a crafter lot as well because it's a nice thought there. It really is. It's just had, seen better days, as they say. But this is real leather. Both parts of it are leather. And then they put a bead there on that dream catcher. Wow. So that'll go in a crafter lot as well. Got the shell bracelet in green. I have a couple of these, but I don't think I have one shaped quite like this one. Mine are more like, they look more like to, uh, teeth or something. That one's kind of square. Lots of stretches here. And what did we get? Some hummingbird charms. Two of them in this package. A gold one, or bronze colored, and a silver one. And this is from Amazon. Still got the tag from Amazon on there. Hmm. We did get the matching earring to these. And more of these that I'm going to add to a crafter lot. Because they're not that interesting. We did get a match on this one. So that's good. Two matches. Is that a flower? Some kind of flower on there. That's pretty. Wonder if that isn't sterling. I'm gonna have to double check that. Oh my gosh, these are old. The little foam on them is disintegrating. So these are definitely vintage pieces here. All right, another big statement. Ooh, this one's cute. This is actually chain mail. Look at that. In the back, I almost liked wearing it like this. But look, it's all spikes in the front. Cute. They really drape nicely. When I put them down, they kind of lose their illusion there. They have a really pretty drape. They look a little scattered when you look at them down like that. But when I pick them up, they really drape nicely. See? That's a pretty one. I like this one a lot, too. Yeah, that would look very nice on it. It doesn't look like it takes up the entire neck 
just a little bit more petite than some of the big um, bib style or waterfall style. That's a pretty earring. All right, a little pave style, very nice and taut stretch bracelet, black and silver, cool. That one's cool. And we did get a match on the earring. It's right here. The golden black one that has kind of a matte finish on it. These are pretty. They're in good condition too. So that's nice. We've got some rainbow hoops that are matched. We have a really nicely crocheted choker in pink. That's pretty. My daughter wears chokers, all kinds. That's really pretty. It's still a nice, clean condition, too. That's cute. And what is this? Oh, this is a cute toggle. Let me get it out of here. It's tangled up. This is a pretty bracelet. Really pretty. It's got very nice toggle with rhinestones and a tassel and a pearl. That's really pretty. It looks a little... Well, you could use the, others, the other little hoop, too. So I think it could fit either a seven and a quarter or an eight. Let me see how it looks if I put it over by my size. It's cute. Yeah, it looks nice because it'll just dangle. So it's definitely adjustable. Really cute. Very good condition. They are strung on here on a cord or not a cord, on a chain. So it's not a stretch. This is cute. It really is cute. I like it on the big side because I like it showing this over here instead of adjusted. So it'll be a nice fit for someone with a size eight, in need of a size eight bracelet. Very cool. Okay. Oh, now we have a Millifori, I believe it is. Millifori. Or Millie Fiori, I'm not sure on that. In green and multicolored flowers there. Really pretty. Whoops. I swept that away with my ring. That's a pretty heart. Can y'all see that? Really cute. That's a cute one. I think I would like it on a chain because I don't like that cord too much. All right, another humongous statement piece. Tangled up with another smaller one, so let me get it out of here. The silver one tangled, oh my gosh, this is heavy. This is really heavy. And this has some curb chain design. It has, it has the metal design like rhinestone, so it's faceted and whatnot. And this is a very heavy metal. It really is. Curb chain is in the middle there. No maker mark. Wow, that is a Mr. T thing or something. Wow, that, what a great find at the garage sale, Ruth. This is really heavy, guys. I like just feeling it. It's really kind of fun to just flex it around and feel how heavy it is. It's amazing. All right, we have some beaded earrings here. One, so far we have one. We have a gold. This is on a sterling chain too. So that's interesting. They may be gold wash and sterling and the little one, the silver ones may be sterling. The clasp is sterling. It's actually cute. Black rhinestone or spacers of some sort, beads rather. That's nice. Yeah, that's a nice piece. See these little... 
And these beads do look like sterling. And there's that sterling clasp mark there. Hmm. Cute. All right. What else? More beads here. Just a chain. No. Just a beaded necklace. If I put this in a crafter lot. Pretty long. So, that was cool. Hey, Ashley. Hi, Darlene Buckland. How are you? Darlene, I need to get with you on some more. Some more of the sudsy stuff. I'm in love with it. But this time, I want all pretty colors. And I don't really care about the scents because they all smell good anyway. <laughs> They're just so fabulous. Look at this cute ring, guys. That's pretty. It's got a price tag of five bucks. Let's see what it says on the inside. Yeah, I really love them. They, they're they such fun. <laughs> no marker on. It's just a cheap little, not even silver tone. It almost looks like plastic, but it's so cute. It's just a really lightweight metal, but makes a cute thumb ring, don't you think? like it a lot and let me move this big old thing that's cool oh my goodness what else do we have another ring this is a very very dirty eternity band very small no mark on the inside looks like a silver tone and actually it's gold tone yeah, I don't see a mark on it. and definitely needs to be clean. But I'm sure it'll look a lot nicer once it's clean. There it is there. Just a little silver tone piece. Oh, look, we've got the bracelet to match the necklace. But on this one, they added some other colors. So this was a nice little homemade piece. They added pink and green beads to it. And this one's also 925. Hmm. 925 clasp on that. Pretty cool. Yep, I like that. A little... Gosh, every time I want to pick something up, something else is tangled up with it. So let me try to untangle this thing because it's really pretty. Reminds me of some earrings I got the other day that were in the, one of these bags and they were white. And they were these kinds of beads with that kind of spacing in between them. And I really, really like wearing them. They weren't very heavy, and they look nice. Oh, thank you so much, Christina. I'm excited you're here as well. I really appreciate it. Okay, it came out. It looks like it's three strands. They're cute. What a pretty blue. Look at this. This is really nice. It's like graduated strands and then there's fringe there all kinds of stuff going on and these are glass that's really pretty of course i noted everybody's jewelry in our board today one lady was wearing layered necklaces like this they kind of look hey kelly one lady was wearing layered necklaces like this. It had like a silver one. It kind of looked a little pa paparazzi, I have to say. But it looked cute on her nonetheless. And then it had like a V chevron right here. And then the other ones were just little chains with little tassels. And then the head of the, the table, the most important person at the table, <laughs> as far as our department, she loves her turquoise and amber. And every time I see her, she's got some... Different ring, different pendant that I've never seen before. And, man, she just, she must buy a piece of jewelry every day. Kind of like me. <laughs> no, I wish I could buy one every day. This is cool, too, guys. This is really cool. This looks like one that you sold, Kelly, that I should have bought in one of your first auctions. Uh, that had, remember, it had, like, the black tips. It was so cool. I don't know why I didn't buy it. I had just bought too much that week. That's what it reminds me of. 
But I think Kelly's was nicer. It was super long. Look at that, guys. It's just chains and more chains, and then the tips are black. Like a little bib style. Pretty cool, except for that hair there. And that one I like, too, for sure. Lots of necklaces. And I've got a little bit more at the bottom here. Let's see what's in here. More earrings popped out of here. This one. This one. We did have a match to that one. It's in here somewhere. I'll marry it later. Everyone who gets into my Elvis room comments on the tray. Oh, really? I am so thrilled, Miss Ruth. You don't even know how thrilled I am about that. I, don't, I think I've shared with you guys that I did see Elvis twice when I was, uh, before I was even a teenager. I think I was like 10, 11. My dad took us to the Astrodome to see him, and then we also saw him in San Antonio, and I have always loved him, and I was depressed for many, many months when he was... When he died, and um, I totally love Elvis, absolutely love him as well. And so I am so thrilled that you love that little tray. And I hope I find more Elvis stuff. I, I just can't resist it. I have a beautiful mug that I think I have it listed, but I just have it in my kitchen because I like to look at it too. And it is from the museum. It's from his car museum. What a gorgeous earring, guys. This looks like Onyx, but I don't have a match. It's from the car museum. I think his car museum is, is in Graceland or, or somewhere in in uh, Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken. And so it's got the purple Cadillac on the mug, and it says Elvis's car museum, the, ca the purple Cadillac on it or something. It's a cool mug. These are cute too, guys. And sometimes these tiny little things, even though they may have CZs, they may be 14K or other, but this looks a little worn. So I'm not even gonna bother to look at these, but look at these tiny little earrings, guys. Sometimes they put real gold on these stones. So yeah, that's that's awesome, I love it. I will, Ruth, I will. It's actually, I believe, on my Etsy. Do you follow me on Etsy? I think it's on my Etsy now. I have to check, because I may have changed my mind. I'm that way. <laughs> I'll put things up and then I'll be like, oh, I really wanna keep that. Or I think I really should get more money for that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll have to double check and see if it's still on there. Okay, guys, I don't know if I got the same one. I don't think so. I think I'm going to have to hope and pray that we get the other one because I don't see it in here. These are the ones. These are the mixed media ones here. And so it's going to go in there because I really like this one, and I hope I get it. And, oh, and I also have, uh, speaking of Elvis, I also have the buttons. Did you ever see Elvis in person, Miss Ruth? They used to give buttons, they were like, um, you know, like the little pin back buttons, the big metal ones, and they say Elvis in person. I've, I've still got my original ones from when my daddy took us. Yeah, and I think I stole my sister's too. I'm the collector, I'm the hoarder, so while she was busy moving around country to country and living here and there, I was still hoarding all our childhood stuff, and I still have that. <laughs> and I have the cards too that I collected back in back in the 70s. I think they came out with the cards when he died, if I'm not mistaken. Like baseball cards, and then you had to build them into a puzzle. I have some of those too. I still have quite a few Elvis memorabilia. Look how cool that is, guys. That's like in a Y shape with a lot of leaves, silver. Kind of a, not a very heavy, but it doesn't feel tinny tinny either. It feels nice. It's cute. I like the Y shape. I like the Y necklaces. I think they look really sexy. Yeah. There you go there. Have you noticed Saturday's auction items? Have I invo- Yes, I did. Did I not invoice you, Michelle? Can you PM me on Facebook again and remind me what it was? Because you know what? I did Michelle Oglesby. Now I remember. And uh, it hasn't been paid, so maybe I sent it to the wrong email. Go ahead and PM me there on Facebook with your correct email, and I'll invoice you again. Because I did notice there was just one or two that weren't paid, and I believe yours was one. So, or maybe I transcribed, you know, transcribed it wrong or something. That happens. 
occasionally, and we'll double check on that for for you, okay? Oh, these are cute too, guys. These popped out of the jar. They are matching. They're little blue topaz looking. These are nice. So it wasn't a bad jar, guys. I did. It was marked 50, and I got it probably for about 37. Oh, I got another package of these in here too. Lots of matching earrings in here. I mean, lots of interesting earrings. They're not. They're like three pairs in here. Let me open it. Oh my gosh, this package is hard to open. So yeah, that's probably what happened. Believe me, that happened with me and Debs over at Debs Treasures. Um, I, I think I put a Z instead of an S and vice versa on both names. And she didn't get my payment and then it turned into a mess. And so, oh, these are cute. So believe me, that happens. We'll fix it, okay? And I will ship it. I'm probably shipping all of them tomorrow. And Kelly, I've got yours to ship out too. I like the pearls and the, the little hoops. The knots aren't bad either. So that's what came in there, guys. Four pairs of earrings there. Another stretch. That's pretty much it. Let me show you the beautiful. Let's finish that looking at the beautiful malachite that Sandy gifted me again just because it's gorgeous. And what a, what a beautiful thumbnail that'll make, huh? So we'll put that there. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. I love, love, love this piece. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I'll come back again soon. I'm going to be starting a new summer series as well. I will give you the details of that very soon. And thank you again. Have a wonderful night.